but those results suggest that he is starting to get back to the sort of form which we know he's capable of producing. Four points so far then, and looking for top spot, Alan. Well, that's what he's playing for. Simon Whitlock, although he can't qualify as you've said. Increased prize money for third and fourth in the group. Can certainly get third. So Robert Thornton will play the run, uh, runner up if he wins this group of Group B, which could be Anderson Jones or Webster. 59. All will be revealed. Anderson would be the favourite to win that group, one would think. Thornton may be looking to avoid that. 41. Simon Whitlock. Oh, the bespectacle brigade, brigade in town again. Simon Whitlock from Hornsby in Australia. Quarter finalist last year. Nine and of course two. reached the PDC World Championship final. Move forward very impressively into the PDC ranks. Certainly did. Lord and Steam on the big stage. Got him in the Premier League. 100. Which they showed at half past six every morning on a Friday in Australia. Over the cornflakes. Massive audiences watching this grand slam of darts as ever. The Ted Hankey, Phil Taylor match tomorrow. I love my mum and dad for bringing me here. It's a good place to be on a school night. It certainly is. And talking of Simon Whitlock's CV, looking what he has won, the Wattle Time Memorial, John, the Oak Flats Sound Waves Open, Mictagong RSL, and the Pine Rivers Wagger Classic. Where How do would you, you like that on your CV? Where do you get this stuff from? <laughs> I wonder what you did with your day. <laughs> Mountain of knowledge. All of it's absolutely priceless. The Wizard's a legend. I wonder if he's going to produce the darts of which he is capable. Well, I think the damage was the first one, wasn't he? Losing 5-1, putting him under pressure against yeah. Colin Osborne. Both players, you know, could, he could have won that game. It was a close game, 5-4. But um, the first one did the damage. 94. Six players' championship wins in 2010. Simon Whitlock, that's some uh, record. And semi finalists, semi final positions in the Premier League world match play. 91. Well, he Simon did play in the PDC world final before the video and then back to the PDC. So he's been back and forth like a boomerang. Big 20 now to leave the double. 100. Robert, you require 100. Nice. So, can Thornton get an eye catching check out to get proceedings underway? Not with a treble one, he can't, if that's in there. 76. So, Simon Whitlock for the first leg. ZZ top, so Whitlock. Game straight in the middle. Puts him off the mark, Simon holds his throw. Second leg, this Robert to throw first. Game on. In the middle of the top. One That's going to it for Thornton. Robert Thornton. I do have to say, Robert Thornton is starting to play a lot better. Had a bit of a, a rough time and then broke his hand. And, uh, I hope he's on the milk. 83. Good darts again. Yep, two consecutive 140s. Thornton just starting to get his form back. And not a bad time on the TV. Starting young, get that point down here. The eyes look a bit sparkly, don't they? It's the Wolverhampton air. 93. Just look at the end of the flight there, it's flown off, wow. not just the flight. So the end bit as well. Didn't affect him too badly, did it? It didn't stop the point going where it went. Now then, Thornton to level it up, 128. He's got six darts at it. That's a poor first dart. Wide of the treble 18 he was looking for. But that's not a bad 80. recovery. No, but looks it, a 180. He can't get another one now. Well, he can hit one, but he'll bust the score. Shanghai, many returns, if you well, will. Thornton on 48, John. Yeah, looking to keep that winning momentum going. 48. 
Tops it is. Game and that makes it one apiece. Certainly one of the best scorers in the game, Thornton, as we've seen so often, John. Sometimes a double <laughs> down. When you got to the players' champs in final, three. started hitting double, averaging around 100. And that's what he'll be looking to get back again. Average at this stage of this match. 85, but then a couple here improves matters greatly. 180, and that boosts his average to just shy of 94. Yeah, and also Robert Thornton, he's only one of five players who won a double header, i.e. two Pro 3 events over a weekend. The others being King Lewis Taylor and Newton. 100. It was on home territory, wasn't it? It's up in Irving. It certainly was. Oh, the old bottom lip going a little bit camera shy. She's looking for that little boy. 85. Can't go much closer without being in the treble. That's 60. a bit unfortunate. I think that's what's generally known as a good 60. Yeah, so he is. And falls his darts with immaculate ease. Throws them very hard into the board. 58. Simon Whitlock bursts through and has kept the same image. Yeah, a cat weasel image. 41. Some more tea, Aunt Sally. Looks like Brett Lee, the Australian fast bowler with a pigtail and a beard. I'm sure Brett will thank you for that. 100. He does, you check it out. That doesn't come overnight. Oh, we're talking about cats and there's the whiskers. 59. Robert, you require 78. 20 for tops. Oh, that would have broken the throw and would have put Thornton into a good position, but he'll have another visit. Whitlock back and a long way back. Yeah. Good luck by Thornton. Well, he may stay there, Ashley. Yeah, he certainly did stay there to get wow. the maximum. Knows he might not get another throw, but sometimes a maximum what gets in the ears of the 20. opponent. Double 10 for 2 1 and Game against the darts. The That's a good leg for Robert Thornton. Thornton. Play, Moving into a strong Robert position. First. Game on! It certainly is. And building on its lovely first start. One hundred and forty! It's the way to do, get the break and return like that. Well, to me, he's just starting to get his form back, isn't he? Played very good against Osborne and Chisnell. Looking good here again. He's going to be dangerous in the tournament. Be a thorn in Sunday's side. Lost in the second round to Terry Jenkins. 83. Sorry, in the quarter final, I beg your pardon. Well, when he made his PDC debut, it was against Anastasia in the UK Open when he came through as a qualifier. And shortly wow, after that, right came over to the PDC. It was his uh, win now, well, Masters win. It's got him in the Grand Slam initially. The Players' Championship of the last two Six years. Days. Come from the same promotional stable, these two fellas as well, don't they? So a little bit of bragging rights. Absolutely, yeah. Jason Tame got quite a few of the players. James Wade, who's playing later on tonight. These two. Mark Webster. Mark Webster in action against Gary Anderson. We're doing that game, was it? Well, I'm looking forward to that one. There's a few more on the horizon. Two uh, head to heads at the end shootouts, as they say. Winner takes all. Stuart Pike was telling everybody about James Wade and Vincent van der Voort. That's going to be one worth watching. Last match of the evening. Stay with us right the way through. Now then, can Thornton clean this one up to go 3 1 ahead? Well, he had a shot at this in a previous leg before he eventually hit the double. But he's got another one at double 12. And he gets it. Well, Robert Thornton went 1 0 down, but three consecutive legs has taken him into the break with a 3-1 lead. Come back soon.
Not a lot between Robert Thornton and Simon Whitlock statistically. Both averaging around about 89, but 3-1 to one with the break of darts. Thornton has the advantage and looking to continue that winning run. It'll be three out of three and he'll win the group if he comes through against Simon Whitlock. And it's looking, as I was saying, as though he's starting to find the form which uh, made us sit up and take notice when he made the switch over to the PDC. But that's good from Whitlock. 139. Yeah, certainly looked good in the players' championship. But uh, also played fantastic. And if you remember in the European Championships when they lost to Taylor in the semi final, they might not have won 80s. They both hit in that game, both averaged well over 100. And he's starting to look. Oh, there's the averages there. Both around the 90 mark. 54. It's pretty steady. May have to improve that as the tournament progresses. He'll mutter to himself, Robert Thornton, come on. And responding by hitting the treble with his last dart. Well, 308, that's the reason he's gone for the treble 18. 126. Not left to finish. A single 18 would have gone two treble 20s, would have left the 170. That's the reason he went for the 18 first. 100. And now looking just to set it up, 182 required, oh, that's a loose first dart. Good correction. Staying there. 85. Oh, tunnel leaf Shanghai. I guess another one. He'll be leaving double top. Oh, 80 left when he comes back if he can. He's throwing on 97. He's throwing well, Alan, is Robert Thornton. Whitlock then for 97 with the darts tops now double 10 needs this one that's a big mess Thornton with a great opportunity well, to go 4-1 and 80. within touching distance another break of throw he's only going to get one at the top of the shot well that was close 60. may have blocked the bed with a second dart. the Sorry, shake of the head may say that 20. Whitlock comes back for 20 double 10 Lovely dart, only one needed. 3-2. Thornton still with the break. I'm talking to Shanghai. Got some fantastic darts dictionary sent to me on my Facebook page. Shanghai, level pegs, Lord Nesson, my favourite one, John. Cats on the counter. Do you know what that one is? 66. Go on. Apparently a cat was a drinking vessel and he used to play for one, so he used to put it on the counter. And there's cats on the counter. Oh, okay. Tell your mates down the pub. 60. They'll enjoy that one. Nothing to do with felines. I rarely go to a public house. Surprised you haven't mentioned where I beat you at pool last night yet, John. 83. I'll tell you what, on the table we played, I could have lost to anybody. Forty-one. Uh, not the scoring we used to from Simon. No, he's not up for it, is he? You can see. 81. Have to see the wizard from the yellow brick road to the Civic. Oh, that's better. That's better from Whitlock. Outside chance here, slightly in front of Thornton. Don't know 140 will leave a finish for him. Get it back to level pegs. 60. Well, he's just gone off the boil, and just an opportunity here for Whitlock. Maybe. 65. No, didn't leave the finish. The ball would have left the big one 70. That's a great dart, left him on double, 20. And closing in on 4-2. Staying down for 19, he's on 195. Leaves double 12, well, another 180, but just as good. Top send for, for Thornton for 4-2. There it is.
Only well, one more required to make it three out so of three in the group the stages song, song and the group Trumpers. winner. Game on! Both averaging 91. So, reasonable standard. As we've said, we look, although 91. he won't progress in this tournament anymore, he really wants to win this game. Won't want to leave here with three defeats. Ninety-six. Plus the stable breaking right, obviously. That's more like Whitlock. One His third 180 of the match, his sixth of the tournament. What one can do is win this leg. And then put the pressure one on the thorn. Who will be throwing first in leg eight? He's having a good leg now. He needs it in the next one as well. Well, it's one hundred. Well, that's good thinking from Thornton. Got himself a finish. He went for bull tops. Nineteen leaves double eleven. Sorry, 50. tops he was looking for. Robert, you Thornton. We've already seen a one seventy, one six seven. The next one down. That's a good start. Triple nineteen for the bull. Bullseye for Thornton for the match. Well, oh, what a fantastic finish by Robert Thornton. Lost the first leg. Simon Whitlock hung in. What a fantastic 167 from the form. Guarantees in first place in the group with a win over Simon Whitlock by five legs to two.